So there is a pretty huge controversy going on right now um, in the progressive sphere because what ended up happening was Hassange Piker and uh, Vosh actually got banned from Twitch. I think it's for seven days, so it's not like... I don't know about Vosh. I know Hassan got banned for seven days. So it's not like a ban where it's like it's a perma ban or anything. And I think Hassan has been banned before on Twitch. Bans on Twitch are not something that are like really scarce. They just never happen. They happen a lot, actually. They're pretty stringent about what they allow on Twitch. Uh, it's very, very, you know, strongly, you know, held. And so they got banned because they used the word cracker. Now, there's obviously a discussion to be had about the word cracker, and, you know, we'll talk about that in this video. Um, but essentially, you know, they got banned for the word. Now, I don't know what the context of them using it is, because quite frankly, if you're using the word cracker as a pejorative term towards somebody, like let's say you're talking to a white person and you say, you cracker or something like that, that's a racial slur. That's definitely, that's not acceptable. Okay, let's be real. Uh, that is a racial slur by definition, and you're using it as a pejorative towards somebody. But if you're talking about the word cracker in a sense that I am now, uh, that's completely different. So if Hassange and Vosh were just talking about discussing the word cracker, I don't think that's grounds for banning, uh, because it's not a, a word that really holds any sort of power whatsoever um, at all. Uh, but if you're using it as a pejorative towards people, like if Hassange was in his stream and literally saying like, you cracker or something like that, like you can't do that. You can't do that. That's a racial slur he's using against somebody. How are you going to do that? So I don't know even what the context was. I saw some people saying he was just discussing it. I don't know if anybody was saying that he had, he had said it directly towards people in that pejorative way, but, um, is cracker like anywhere close to the n-word for example no not even remotely close not even slightly close not even not in the same milky way not in the same galaxy not in the same stratosphere it's nowhere close okay and you know what the difference is i'm saying the word cracker and i'm saying n-word that just goes to show you the difference between the words right uh obviously right cracker is not a word that has any power if you say cracker towards a white person, you know, you know, maybe they're going to, you know, go cry with their, wipe their tears with their hundred dollar bills or their homes that were redlined or their voter suppression bills or whatever. It's like they hold all the power, obviously they're a majority. So it's not something that actually holds any power. The N word is the complete opposite, right? And generally speaking, any other, any other slur is the same way. It's just none of them are close to the extent of the N word. But uh, they're nonetheless, the U.S. has been racist towards every race at some point in history, uh, all of them. So, you know, there's all kinds of racial slurs for literally every group. And, you know, the USA is definitely very creative. And, and I guess they're very good at coming up with racial slurs. They really are number one in everything. eh? Uh, but Jenk Uger sent out this tweet. A lot of people, you know, pouring in their opinions. Jenk says, so Vosh and Hassan are suspended from Twitch for using the word cracker because it's apparently derogatory. Is it? How many people have been adversely affected because people thought they were a cracker? Zero. Does anyone even know what the stereotype for that is? <clears throat> so uh, I guess there, there is no like set stereotype, I would say, for the term cracker. Um, you have like kind of like different, I guess, kinds of white people, you know, you have ones that are like, you know, living in trailer parks, you have rich ones, you have middle class ones, you know, there's a lot of differences, I guess, going on there. So there's not one set stereotype for it. And again, I don't know what context Jenk is even responding to here in terms of, is he saying using the word cracker in the sense of like, I'm using it now, or in the sense of it's okay to like call white people a cracker in the pejorative way. If it's the latter, I disagree. If it's the former, I agree. It's unclear what he's saying. Now, David Pockman, he actually jumps in. Now, he is he is a really horrible news channel. He's just MSNBC light. All he does is just Trump videos nonstop. He's not even present anymore. And he shills like shady cryptocurrencies. Uh, he's not trustworthy whatsoever. He sends out a tweet saying, yeah, but Jenk, it's a derogatory race-based term that refers to white people. Without question, it's not loaded historically with slavery or oppression like the N-word, but this is a terrible hill to die on. Defending its use is not something progressives should do. So I am in complete agreement here with, with David Pakman. I think that this take is definitely very spot on. 
Um, I think it summarizes the take in general. It is a, obviously a derogatory race-based term referred to white people. That's true. And obviously, it's not loaded anywhere close to what slavery and the N-word are like, obviously. And yes, this is a stupid hill to die on. Okay, it's just dumb. And defending its use is not something progressive should do. Period. Um, but as long as you're just discussing the word cracker... Uh, without using it as like a pejorative in a pejorative sense, but you're just saying the word and maybe you're discussing the word, um, you know, that's fine uh, because it's not a word that holds any sort of real power of any sense, so it's okay to say. But if you're using it in a pejorative sense towards people, then that's not okay. So this is a spot on take. As much as I dislike David Pakman and his scam channel, uh, his take his take here is very well measured, and I, I think he's right. But a lot of people uh, disagreeing with him. And again, there were a lot of people who were... This is a kind of polarizing situation. I know Anna Kasparian was making fun of the idea as well. So, you know, there's different takes ranging on this. Um, but, you know, this one's saying this is a bad take. There's, there's just a bunch of... There's just a bunch of these. Honestly, it seems like most of these comments are, are disagreeing with David. It's Pacman on the wrong side of an issue for a change. But Jamie Peck, former uh, co-host over on the Majority Report, jumping in to roast David Pacman. She says, LMAO at this fucking weenie. So that's pretty, uh, that's pretty insulting right there. David Pacman being called a weenie by a former Majority Report host. Obviously a big deal here. Um, she is calling <laughs> David Pakman a weenie in this situation. So a lot of people obviously taking the side of it's not a big deal because it doesn't really have like any loaded meaning or any kind of uh, stuff of that nature. So a lot of people coming down on that side. Now, how does Jamie honestly feel about the majority report now that she's gone? I, I heard that she recently had made a return. Um, Jamie is obviously uh, pretty far left wing. I think she's a communist, but no longer an anarchist. So she's very far uh, left, obviously. So I, I just have a hard time believing that, she, you know, how she really feels about Sam Cedar or any of that stuff. I don't really know uh, what her true feelings are. But based on this tweet that she sent out right here calling David Pakman a weenie, I would love to just see like the uncensored, fully uncensored, 100, 1000% uncensored take from Jamie explaining what her thoughts about majority reports uh the majority reporter or for that matter any other like you know left-wing show because i mean she's actually a communist but most of the left-wing shows you think of are just social democrats which is either right-wing or center so you know for her it's probably like oh yeah left-wing shows right like the majority report and the david pakman show it's hilarious so interesting to see this no doubt but it is a very heated debate going on, the cracker, the great cracker debate of 2021. Um, but those are my thoughts. I think David Pockman is correct on this one. But uh, let me know your thoughts on this whole situation down below. Curious to hear them.